Welcome to MathSol. In this video, we are going to graph uh, cosec x and sec x. And as you can see, I already have the sin x and cos x graph on the screen. But now, we need to do the cos x x. And the why we started with the sin x. You know, the cos x is, uh, if I just write down here, that cos x, we are plotting the graph for cos x. And what is cosec x? Cosec x is equal to 1 over sin x. Alright? So cosec x is equal to 1 over sin x. So it means it, it, this graph is relevant with the sin. Right? Sin x. That's why I just plot the cosec x under the sin x graph. Now, you can see cosec x is, one, is a reciprocal of sin x. And sin x is in the denominator. So it means Wherever the sin x is 0, it means that if the denominator is 0, then cos x is the graph will be undefined. It means uh, it will give you the, the vertical asymptote, right? So sin x 0 positions is give you the vertical asymptotes. And from the, uh, the graph on the top, the sine graph, you can see the sin x is 0 in that position. So this is the position like in the y-axis or cosec x in the y-axis. So this is the vertical asymptotes where sin x is 0. Also the sin x is 0 at 180 degree and if I just put a uh, uh, what's called the vertical asymptote at 180 degree. So this is another uh, one and then 360 degree you are getting a vertical asymptote at 360 degree. And then same way if you try the negative direction you can see 180 degree you have a vertical asymptote as 180 degree. Okay. And then we have a, a vertical asymptotes at 360 degree as at 360 degree there is a sin x is 0. So because the denominator is 0 it is giving you the asymptote right because uh, 1 over 0 is undefined. And now you just need to check then where the graph will be. So now you can see this part is a maximum right the 1 and that is negative 1 our uh, amplitude. So at the point where is 90, 90 degree it is it is giving you 1. So if I put sin x equal to 1 then 1 over 1 is giving you 1. So it means you are getting at 90 degree position you are getting that point where in at 1 right that is 1 at 90 degree position okay and now what about more than 90 or less than 90 if you go down you can see that from more than 90 if you look at the right side of 90 degree you can see when the graph is going down down to 0 actually it will be undefined it means that actually when sin x is decreasing when we are going more than 90 degree the sin x is decreasing and when sin x is the denominator is going down cosec x is going up because the denominator is going down so when cosec is going up it means it is increasing right like that and then it will go increase increase and then become kind of straight because it cannot touch the red line like asymptote right it go like that and when it's coming at 180 degree position it will be asymptote here it's coming it's just increasing close to asymptote right without touching and then same way if I see the left side of 90 degree you can see the same situation happening sin x is going down it means cos x is going up because sin x is in the denominator and then when it's reaching zero again it is close to the asymptote so it is increasing and going to the asymptote so it means you can see the graph will go like that okay uh, now if you look at the uh, the even 270 degree at that position you are getting negative one and if you put sin x is negative one you are getting cos x is also negative one so negative one if i said this is our negative one so you are getting at 270 degree you are getting negative one for the graph and then after that when you are increasing it's a negative increase anyway so it's increasing so negatively so the graph will go if you look at that it will be like that it will increase in like that negative and then it is coming bit straight when it's uh, coming 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 and then after this coming bit straight why okay so because at that it, it is coming closer to the red line and becoming straight 
and it's increasing nearly like that that's why we are not worried about the amplitude so no sense of talking about the amplitude for this graph as they are increasing right uh, with the asymptote line and now um, if I look at uh, the other side also you will see the same thing when it's a uh, negative 90 degree you are getting here the graph and you will see the same situation here so the graph will be like that So it is it is just coming like that right so it is going and coming like that and then when you are going for a positive one at 270 degree uh, negative 270 degree then again you will see this sort of graph here okay so this is the graph and now if I ask you what is the the uh, period and you can easily see the period is uh, still same because we had the sin x so what is the period of sin x sin x the period is uh, 360 degree where the graph is repeating so again you can see that here is also we have a 360 degree where the graph is uh, repeating because we have that one is up, uh, upside uh, this is upside down and this is concave up and you can see that the same situation in the other side right so this part if you start from here to here it's 360 degree uh, now, if I look at the uh, the uh, sec x graph, so let's say we have uh, this one sec x, and and what is sec x? Sec x is one over cos x, so it means it is relevant with the cos. It's just uh, reciprocal of cos, right? Uh, now, uh, if you look at the where the cos x is zero, it would be undefined. So you will get the asymptote. So where cos zero? You can easily see the cos zero at 90 degree position. So I can just make a asymptote at 90 degree position because cos zero at here in this position, cos zero at 270 degree position. So I am just following from the top graph. So this is 270 degree, right? And this is your 90 degree position. Okay. And then if you look at negative 90 degree, another asymptote here at negative 90 degree. So at that position, it is asymptote. So the graph cannot touch. And also negative 270 degree, it is a, there is asymptote here, right? And now, uh, where would be then graph will be? Um, so if you look at again the maximum point at 1, so it means if you have a like this is 1 and this is negative 1, right? Amplitude for the cos x graph. So when you are looking cos x equal to 1 and if you put it here then cos x equal to 1 means 1 over 1 sec x will be also 1. So this is the point. Similar way if I go for negative 1 you will get a negative value here for the two at 180 degree. Same way if you go down to the other side so 100 and negative 180 degree you are getting the minus 1 and then uh, negative 360 degree you are getting the positive 1. Right, and now what will happen for, for example at that point this is one and then after that if you come down you know that when you are decreasing the cos value from one is the maximum when it's decreasing then the cos x is going down it means the denominator is decreasing so sec x will increase so it will be increased like that right and then again the same way increase this side so you are getting kind of the graph here so Okay, so this is the graph, and then if you do this, same way you are getting the graph of this one. So just make sure the graph will be coming straight, uh, because it cannot touch the red line, right? So the same way you are getting this one. Okay, just um, we can make a little bit better here. Um, okay. So let's see, this is the graph, okay. It's difficult to control. Okay, uh, now on this one, also you can, this is 360 degree and we are putting the graph up to here. So 360 degree and then the graph will be like that. Okay, it's going up, up, up. Hmm. Uh, here it's like that, but we have 360 degree here. So at 360 degrees showing maximum, so it is like that, and then, and then if you look at the left side of the part, then it will be like just one side you have to just show because we don't have the other side because we are just 
plotting the graph from negative 360 to positive 360 but you know that if we continue it will be like that because we are getting another asymptote after that right and also in this side also it will be like that right so if you extend it so otherwise you can just leave it like that okay and this is from negative 360 degree to positive 360 degree here and if you look at the period you can see the graph is from here 0 degree okay and then you are ending up here 360 degree it will be one period and then after that it is again repeating that part will be repeated again here right um, so the period is the same as we have the cos x the period is 360 degree we have the similar period for sec x thanks for watching and uh, if you would like to see more up-to-date videos please subscribe my channel